Riding along with his family, suddenly the driver lost control of the car, which hit a tree. Noah, a 12-year-old sixth grader, hit his head during the car accident. The car accident left him with traumatic brain injury. What is traumatic brain injury, or TBI? Our nation's special education law, the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, defines traumatic brain injury as an acquired injury to the brain caused by an external physical force resulting in total or partial dysfunctional disability or psychosocial impairment or both that adversely affects a child's educational performance. The term applies to open or closed head injuries resulting in impairments in one or more area, such as memory, attention, reasoning, abstract thinking, judgment, sensory, perceptual, and motor abilities, psychosocial behavior, physical functions, information process, and speech. The term does not apply to brain injuries that are cognitive or degenerative or to brain injuries induced by brain trauma. Noah sits feeling lonely and crying impulsively due to his new symptoms. Noah sobs sadly to himself. I wish everyone would just leave me alone. I don't understand and I don't remember anything I'm told to do. I'm going to fail. I just want everything to go back to normal. Behavioral characteristics associated with TBI are rapid fluctuations in emotions, are commonly associated frequent mood swings, overreacting, impulsive crying, inappropriate reactions, aggressiveness, apathy, and or errors in judgment. The sense of cause of effects may be impaired, which may impact emotional responses to situations. Noah, are you paying attention? Can you tell us what an integer is, please? Huh? Um, no. I was looking for my notebooks. I forgot them in art class? I don't understand what an integer is, actually. I was wondering where my notebooks are, but I remember now. I left them in the other room. Sorry, Miss O. An individual with traumatic brain injury will often be affected by cognitive functioning such as slow processing or interpretation of what is seen or heard, which may delay response reactions. Teachers will focus on students' learning characteristics to enhance their memory problems, organizational problems, lessen sensory overload and fatigue, as well as improve their attention and concentration problems. To initiate instructional strategy, the teacher will give explicit written and oral direction and have the student repeat or demonstrate to check for understanding. The teacher should encourage the student to ask questions to increase understanding. That's okay. Noah, if you left your books in the art room, those books can stay in the art room. For math, I have a special place for your belongings in my classroom. It'll be in the same location every day on the bookshelf in the yellow box labeled Noah's Math. Oh, right. Thank you, Miss O. Or is it Miss M? Eh. Can I ask my classroom work partner, Kathy, to get my box? I think I might drop it. Yes, of course. Kathy, can you gather Noah's yellow box so we can answer what an integer is for the class? Noah and I appreciate your help. Teacher will initiate classroom practices for instructional strategies to assist with organizational skills using color coding, labeling of materials, assigning specific places for belongings, use of assignment notebooks, progress reports, and day timers. Students will be provided with written schedules and assignments that are systematically checked by students, teachers, and family. To assist with motor planning and movement, balance and coordination, a buddy or work partner will be encouraged. The nonverbal cue, buddy or work partner system will also be established for developing behavioral management to assist students to begin since students with traumatic brain injury may have difficulty initiating tasks. Miss O, I'll use my computer to help answer your question. An integer is a whole number, not a fraction, and it is not a decimal. Great job, Noah. 
Thank you. To continue, I need three integers to... Excuse me, Miss O. Can I use my recorder to tape our lesson today so I can listen to it later to help me with my homework? Yes, of course you can. Thank you for asking and using your technology devices. Remember, Noah, to use our nonverbal hand cues to ask questions. Students will be provided technical devices such as computers, spell checkers, alarms, watches, planners, tape recorders to compensate for organizational and memory deficits. These instructional materials will be used to increase classroom support strategies and increase student ability to revisit lesson materials. Behavioral management strategies will be used within classrooms to set classroom settings to develop a new sense of success since students may not be able to perform tasks, which they previously could. Students will be encouraged to do their best and to look at failure as not trying rather than not succeeding. Teachers will post rules and use a point system to allow students to gain rewards so students will increase their academics, behavior, and self-esteem. Setting guidelines in advance will increase success and repetition, which is needed for individuals who have a traumatic brain injury.